Okay. All right. So let's make some rubber stamps. All right. So some things to t some things to tell you. Let me move this out of my way somehow. All right. So what I have here is just one of these from the Dollar Tree. Now, let's let's talk shop here for a moment. Okay, so this, um, when it's whole, I've already made a stamp out of this, is actually a uh, speedball rubber printing. It's, uh, rubber printing plate four by six inches I believe this will cost you about six ninety nine at the art store because it's you know speedball and it's special this which can be made into or cut into several stamps so you can make one big stamp or it will accommodate most anything that you want to make into a rubber stamp and uh, this is one dollar. So, I have a couple of other examples as well from the Dollar Tree. So, I've got some same deal. Um, just, you know, polymer erasers that you can cut and make into whatever shape you want. And you're looking at one dollar one dollar versus like 6.99 okay now second piece of information here it's gonna be this little tool here this is a you're not gonna be able to see that anyway it's a speedball leno cut carving tool. It's a speedball right here in the side. This will set you back about $15 at your local art store or you can get it for between 10 and 12 on Amazon. Just look up speedball linoleum carver. It comes with these five blades and yeah so let's get started what I'm going to make today is going to be a cassette tape um so I have a can just stamp it and it'll be look like a tape so I'm going to freehand draw this one of my very convenient gifts is that I can pretty much freehand draw anything that I can see with my eyes so I pulled up on my screen you can see there some reference images and I'm just going to pick one and draw it on here and then we're going to carve it out and we'll ink it up and we'll stamp and see what happens ready all right so I'm just doing a quick scroll through just to see um, I like this one right here would is pretty good and that's going to translate over into a stamp fairly easily or into something we can carve out rather. Um, what I'm gonna do is do clip art and see if we can find anything else that I like better. So you know this one right here looks amazing. Alright, so I'm just looking for a reference image so I can draw my stamp and we can start carving. That, you know, that right there is really super simple concept. Okay, so I'm just looking. 
here we go this is it right here that's going to be fairly simple to do and we're going to end up with a lot of so what you see here is going to be the black areas are actually going to be left and the white areas are going to be carved out so let's draw this up where'd it go I like that one too that one's actually uh, not as realistic yeah so I'm gonna go with a more realistic we're gonna use this and I'm just gonna freehand this onto my eraser okay so I'm gonna start with a pencil if I, if it'll draw my eraser this pencil box is such a wreck all right here we go Erasing on my eraser. my outline all right <clears throat> down a little bit further okay
Yes, I'm erasing on my eraser. Not perfect, but you know. Let's go over it with some pen. That should help us a little bit.
Okay. Alright, now we're ready to start carving. You start with your number one or smallest blade. And you just uh, basically trace your lines, go around your outlines. When you're, when you're carving, you want to keep your side of your blade next to your line. So we're going to be carving away, if you're looking at the reference image, we're going to be carving away the white part. No need to get to gouge too deep. Just let the blade do the work. Don't all, just stick it in, push it. Don't uh, you know put a lot of pressure. can't really see what I'm doing. I'm taking the smallest blade and putting this side of the blade against my line and just cutting away the white areas you'll see in my reference image above. But I don't know what it is. Oh, yes, I do. This is fun. Well, it's cute. Notice that I'm always cutting away. So when I get to the corners, I turn it and I cut away from my drawing, my template.
trying to do those little teeth on in there is impossible. That ain't happening. Okay, so once you've gone over the whole thing with the smallest blade, graduate to the number two or the next one up and just keep removing material.
God dang it. I'm going to switch back to my number one blade. Do a little more cleaning up. to wait up again. And I'm going to go number five, which is the largest blade so I, I can remove all this material. satisfying I'm just going to trim this up a little bit for you and just a little knife.
basically all a rubber stamp is is a rubber printing plate anyway so uh, you know these stamps that can cost crazy amounts of money uh, you know for scrapbookers and that kind of thing Let's sync it up, see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. What you think about that? You know, it looks a little, uh, it's not perfect. But you know what it is, and it's kind of a cool effect. It looks very printish. stamp from an eraser. What do you think? Love to hear from you. If you watched this and you enjoyed it, give me a follow. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Probably, I'll be back. We'll do it. I had an idea for an eraser. I've done the cassette before. I had an idea, and it left. I should have written it down, but if, if and when I think of it, I will be back. Hey, and I look forward to connect, connecting with you on the next stream. Thanks for tuning in.